Are structural engineering conventions worth going to? Are they just boring technical sessions or is there actually some fun to be had? Do you learn anything useful? Is it good for your career? So last week I went to the SIOC 2022 structural engineering convention in bloody hot Indian Wells in California. The 110 degree weather prepared my mind, body, and soul for the weather that we're having right now. But was it worth going to? Yes, it was, and for three reasons. And the first one is that there is something for everybody. Whether it's the technical stuff, the professional development track, or even there was something for engineering students and young professionals as well. For me personally, when I went, I went to the professional development and technical tracks. I mixed them both up because as a manager, I need to work on my communication and soft skills, but also keeping up with the technical trends in the field. For example, in the professional development stuff, I've learned how to run better meetings because you've been in them, I've been in them, everybody's been in those meetings that just waste everybody's time and they're not efficient. So getting meeting templates on those is definitely going to help me out. I've learned how to give better presentation, more engaging presentations as well, especially in this virtual world that we're living in. It's very important to not crush the souls of your audience because you are so boring. Also attended some leadership and networking seminars because I am still lacking on those. And for the technical sessions, they were very valuable as well. We got to see some of the upcoming research and some of the upcoming building code changes that are going to be implemented in the future. For example, remember that scary looking non-structural components equation? Well, it's still scary looking, but in a different way. And for the ASCE 722, the snow stuff, that's all changing. And for concrete shear walls, they're probably going to get bigger and more expensive with a good amount of new detailing requirements. And even though these were technical sessions, I still personally enjoyed them. It made me appreciate all the things that I've learned during my undergrad and even during grad school. And even for all of the individuals, the researchers, and the people that volunteer their time for these code committees, it makes you appreciate all the work that goes into those building codes to keep the public safe. And for the structural engineering students and young engineers, there was the SE Pathways cohort where they got to network with each other, but they also got to get some mentoring sessions and have some discussions with real industry professionals. They got to talk about what some of the challenges that they'll be facing and how to overcome them in their career paths and some of the key issues that the structural engineering uh, profession is facing, uh, particularly in the future. I think that was a great idea to include this because a lot of the times young professionals, even when I was a student and went to one of these uh, technical engineering conventions, it was really intimidating. Uh, because uh, a lot of the technical topics, I had no idea as a student what they were talking about. And everyone was a lot older. I was the only or young person there, but if you bring in a group of young individuals, they already have a lot of things in common and they're facing a lot of the same challenges that someone that young or still a student is facing in the industry. So they can network a lot easier. And the second reason, it was pretty fun. When the seminars weren't going on, they had a lot of events, uh, social events, networking events, lunches, dinners, and award ceremonies. I even went with some of my coworkers from different offices, so that was a good bonding experience. And it was fun networking too, once I got used to talking to people again, and reconnecting with some of my old colleagues that I haven't seen in a while. And look at this, I thought the dance floor was going to be empty, but the engineers came in full force and showed their dance moves. So how did this happen? Well, I figured it out. In order to get engineers to go on the dance floor, since they work with drawings and blueprints a lot, all you need to do is do the same thing with dance. Give them some clear directions, some clear dance moves, and they're on the floor. One step left, one step right, clap your hands once, clap your hands twice. Then you got an engineering party. Look at them, protecting the public and having fun doing it. And number three is community. Individually, once you're there, one of the things that you're doing is networking, connecting with other engineers and seeing what their projects are and what their struggles are. That's a no-brainer if you're a professional. Build your net, build your safety net, because you never know what the future holds. But by doing that, it also builds community, a community of like-minded individuals that are passionate about their professions and that ha have and are going through the same struggles. 
One of the topics that kept coming up was imposter syndrome, particularly for the younger engineers. They may not feel like they're engineers yet because they're comparing themselves to some other senior individuals where they know so much. So when this topic came up, it was great to see that they would only get support not only from their younger engineering peers, but also some of the middle and senior engineers saying that they don't know what they're doing either. As you grow in your career, you're going to face new challenges, new positions that, yeah, you're going to learn how to figure it out. That's how you grow. Confidence comes from competence. You just keep practicing, learning, failing, and eventually you're going to get better and better and better at it until you encounter something new, the next challenge in your life. And for me, going to this event, this convention, it just reinvigorated me. It was refreshing to go to a large event with a lot of structural engineers in person. It was inspiring to see where all of the technical professions are going and the advances that are being made in the structural engineering industry, but also inspiring to see a lot of the younger engineers bringing their enthusiasm and energy and their passion for the profession that they have. Thanks for watching. Stay happy, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time.